everyone. This is Moise uh, from Cloudmage. We are at WordCamp Europe in Porto, and today we have with us Milan Ivanovic. Uh, he is a experienced WordPress community guy, and today we, we are going to be hearing about his story, uh, what is what it is like uh, in community in Serbia, how is it like to organize WordCamps, and what tips does he have for beginner WordPress users who are looking to make their careers in WordPress. So Milan, thank you so much for taking your time out. Please first introduce yourself to our viewers. What do you do? What have you been doing for the past few years? I've been involved for with the WordPress community for quite some time now. Uh -huh. uh, um, almost like about well, with community like almost ten years. All right. Um, my first community work was actually volunteering at uh, WordCamp Europe in Sofia. Mm -hmm. uh, my first WordCamp was WordCamp Europe in Leiden, and as soon as I got to contributing uh, area. Uh, there, like on Contributors Day, I knew that uh, I will be volunteering and definitely helping out um, the next work can happen. All right. All right. So, uh, building on from that question, I mean, you have been in the community for so long. I mean, mm -hmm. what was your first interaction with WordPress? How did you come about with working with WordPress? Oh, my first experience was in, back in 2007, uh -huh. I think, or 2007, 2008. Uh, we were working on some websites for some famous singer in Serbia. All right. And she wanted a blog. She heard that it's a popular thing to have blog on your website. We were redesigning as freelancers. We were redesigning her website, and she's like, "You know what? I want blog." I'm like, why would you need a blog? Yeah. You know. And then that's where like we just like searching for that, and we were looking for it, and then we found out like WordPress. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, let's install it. And then from it was a love on first sight. I All love right. it. But yeah, when we installed it, when I was just like checking the theme, we look, hey, this, is, this is really good. Uh, so she loved it, we sold it, and then from that moment on, I got hooked with WordPress. All right. It's after like getting more into code and yeah, loving it ever since. All right, and building on from that question, like you are loving WordPress ever since, and yeah. WordPress now powers over 40% of the web. Yeah. Why do you think that is? It's because of community. Um, I'm, I'm certain, like 100%, that the community is something that drives WordPress project. Mm -hmm. If you see just like people being so involved and willing to help and share their knowledge, yeah. I'm guessing that's that's like hundred percent like straight point that like, um, you know WordPress relies on community, uh, and you, you, you just you see on this event or any event doesn't matter like the size because yeah. flagship events work in Europe, US, and now Asia that will happen in February 2023. Uh, all those flagship events like they bring like a massive, massive amount of attendees. Mm -hmm. But you see, we we know actually that all these that they're attending for the first time, they're gonna go back to their homes and think about starting a community if there isn't one. Yeah. Uh, a good thing that uh, I heard here uh, that we have sixty percent of attendees uh, attending the work in Europe for the first time. Oh, really, I'm yeah. one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome, yeah. welcome. So usually work camps are not this size, uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I'm finally just. So happy that it's finally happened in person yeah. work camps. But yeah, it's it's the community. Definitely. Yeah. Community. So so you mentioned community and you're from Serbia. Yeah. So how is the WordPress community in Serbia and how does it compare with the WordPress community globally? Mm -hmm. So um I, I I started like joking that we ran out of cities in uh -huh. Serbia to start the meetup. Um we started like back in 2013 with uh, one meetup and we out of that we got that Facebook group, which is now over ten thousand 10,000 members. Really? Yeah, we have three groups. Okay. One is being just dedicated to jobs, like WordPress jobs in Serbia and the region. Uh, and it's like six or 7,000, but the main group is around 10,000. Okay. Um, we started like slow, like in 2013, 14, just with Belgrade. Uh, Belgrade is our capital. Yeah. Uh, in 2015, we had the first work camp. And from that moment on, everything exploded, like in Serbia, you know, with community. 2016, we had like this second city, and now we are on 16 cities uh, all across Serbia with regular meetups. Uh, some of them started now again, like in person. Mm -hmm. So we are now working in revamping and just like restarting all, right. uh, all the meetups uh, in Serbia. Right. So yeah, currently at the number 16. All right. So you mentioned that the community in the earlier question, you mentioned that one of the reasons why WordPress powers so many websites yeah. is because. Uh, because of the community. Yes. Yeah. So what do you say? How important is WordPress community uh, for WordPress survival? Oh, it, it, it's definitely this. Uh, it's really important. Uh, I'm guessing because we keep on bringing like new people while just like um, through our events. 
Iran's that are community uh, community driven. Uh, I'm guessing that everyone who hears about uh, WordPress when they join one of the events, being, being like uh, online or offline, they immediately want to start helping. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter like if it's code. We are not all developers here. Uh, but you have so many, the, the WordPress is so flexible. You have so many ways that you can contribute to the project yeah. that it's you know amazing. Yeah. So you see people who are just designers or like copywriters or whatever. And when they see that they can actually contribute back to the WordPress project just because they joined a large group, uh, I think the, something that is you know driving the whole WordPress project yeah. is their that community. Community. Yeah. So let's now talk something about you. Mm -hmm. All right. How has WordPress and, and its community helped you in your personal journey? Oh, it helped a lot. Now, uh, when I was putting the, my, my talk for this year, yeah. I put like everything on paper, all the things that you know I've been through and. Yeah. All the all the people that I met, uh, it helped me. Um, you're just being way more open because um, Serbia uh, is, is is you know the the place where I was born and you know the whole city. Like we are pretty much all the same. Uh, we are like one skin color or one one religion. And then uh, I wanted like to join uh, WordPress and to help to, to to learn things so I can you know open up myself. To towards everything. Uh, so uh, WordPress project and just uh, being involved in these events really helped me like being more open. Uh, you know, I I'm listening more. Uh, I'm willing to help. Uh, it, it, it's weird when you like organize a project, you organize an event, yeah. and then after a year or two, somebody just you know remembers you and saying like, hey, just you know, the event that I attended completely changed my life. Uh, and that's what I love. That's why I. You know, kept on just organizing all the work yeah. and all the meetings. Uh, Serbia also um, helped me meet new people and helped me experience you know, all the different backstories mm -hmm. of all the friends that I have here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, also in Serbia, um, it's helped you know bring all different kinds of uh, knowledge levels, all different kinds of backgrounds. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely uh, now a better man. Yeah. Uh, after organizing and being involved yeah. in this community. I'm, I'm guessing the biggest WordCamp that we have organized was 2019, WordCamp Europe in yeah. Berlin. Yeah. Tell us yeah. something about that. Oh, um, yeah. after after my my peak, I would say, was in 2018, uh, where we organized the WordCamp Europe in Belgrade. Uh, that is something that we worked, I think, with the local community for like three years. Uh, and being the local lead, I had like so much experience and like we've been through all the vendors, all the budgeting, everything that's been through, that, you know, it made things, you know, just the, the next move was for me to be the a global team lead uh, and to have Bernard as the local lead of the, the whole German community. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, at, at a time, Belgrade was the biggest, and, you know, Berlin, uh, Berlin attendance just blew everything yeah. uh, off the roof. So. That event was a successful event. I could think about, yeah. uh, like I can say it now uh, from this point. Uh, but yeah, it was a huge success uh, for also a huge yeah. success for the German community and for the global community yeah. because we had some number that was amazing, amazing. like 92, con 92 countries, attendees yeah. from 92 countries. Oh, really? Yeah, um, way bigger uh, number of sponsors. There are all the communities that we brought together. It was just like all these numbers mm -hmm. statistically. It was it was successful event. So. All right. So, lastly, I mean, you have been in the WordPress community for so long, and I think you are the best person to ask this question. From. What do you, what tips do you have for people, young people who are looking for a career in WordPress, who are enthusiastic for WordPress, yeah. and want to build a similar career like yourself in, in the WordPress community? Yeah. It's so easy to get into WordPress community. Like just get involved. Uh -huh. Just look for a first meetup. Look for event that is happening close to you, and talk to people. Start there, like start small. Uh, if you want to help out, if you want to organize an event, start by volunteering. Uh, when you start volunteering, you will see the event from some under the under the hood, yeah. as I like to say it. Like you will see what it takes and how amazing it is, like just to be the part of the event. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just start start small, but start immediately. Just like don't waste, don't wait for something to happen yeah. or like. Bring a friend, bring someone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's super easy to get to, to get involved. And this is not a developers conference. 
like it doesn't matter like on which level are your knowledge there is a room for everyone yeah uh, so yeah just make sure to you know, chime in and yeah you'll see how welcoming everyone is. yeah so i'm pretty sure after this interview people are would be looking to follow you on social media yeah, yeah. so can you tell me how can people find you on social media and different yeah. platforms yeah everywhere like on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. I'm like Milan Ivanovic at Lunch 86. All right. Yeah, it's the same handle. Like once you find just follow that one or on the profile for our uh, WordPress make uh-huh. work like I'm also Lunch 86. Right. So yeah. All right. So thank you so much Milan for taking your time out. I know you're a very busy guy. Uh but thank you so much. I appreciate okay. the 15 minutes that you have given to us and I'm pretty sure people have learned so much about from from this interview for you. for the wordpress community and how it's so important for wordpress yeah. thank you so much yeah. for that yeah. thank you pleasure meeting you yeah yeah thank you man thank, thank you, you.